also check it out guys, we're back with a brand new episode on the channel. My name is of course General Tony and welcome my friends to what is going to be a really fun video. Now before we do anything here in the episode guys, I do want to remind you all, there is going to be an update released this June in the next week or two from Supercell in COC. There is going to be some new troops, there is going to be new super troops, hopefully some new troops as well. And there is going to be a lot of more new endgame content coming into Clash. So make sure you are subscribing to the channel, guys. The day the update is released, we are going to do a gem spree and a giveaway here on the YouTube channel to my beautiful subscribers. All that being said, guys, we have just found ourselves a monstrous 1.5 million, sorry, 1 million and 42,000 gold, almost a million elixir, and almost 11,000 dark elixir, guys. This is one of the biggest loot raids we have seen over the last week. So let's get in, let's do some destruction, because we have got some upgrades to do as soon as this raid is over, guys. We've actually just used one of the most powerful magical items in the game. And you're going to find out what it is in a couple of seconds, guys. Before we do anything, let's get those Earthquake spells in. Let's get the Rage spell on that Queen. Let's distract the Wizard Tower with a Dragon. And let's get a couple more Wall Breakers in, guys, to break the troops into the core. We are now ready for full penetration. Let's get everything down into the base, guys. And let's hope for a really great attack. Here we go. I'm actually going to send in all the balloons as well. Drop in the rage spell to take out the air defense. Poison spell right on the CC. And I think I'm even going to drop a free spell, guys, on the Inferno Tower. And then another one on the scatter shot down the bottom. I'm going to pop the King's ability and the Grand Wardens, guys, as we make our way into the core of the base. The Queen is in a little bit of trouble up towards the top. We've got the Royal Champion down the bottom. All I really want to do is take out all this loot, guys. If we can take out the loot, I will be over the moon. Almost got that defending Grand Warden. Unfortunately, we didn't quite make it. I don't think we're going to be getting all the loot on the map. But you know what? Considering there was like 2 million in resources, we've done a pretty damn decent job. And we've still got quite a few troops alive down the bottom. Trying to take out those final collectors. There is a gold collector there, guys. Can we get a couple of shots off? Yes, we can. The minion done a little poop. And we got about two shots of that gold. So we've still got the warden. A couple of wizards. And 16 seconds to go. Can we get this gold collector? Let's find out. Can we get the dark elixir storage? That would be absolutely amazing, guys. We're not going to be able to get the DE. I don't think we're going to end up running out of time. And the Warden is the last man standing as the raid ends. And a total, wow, that's not bad, guys. 900 plus thousand gold. That is pretty damn amazing. Plus a 96% bonus. We definitely cannot complain with that. So, check it out. We are back on the general tiny account, guys. I've actually been farming up like crazy the last hour or two, and there is a reason why we are actually doing this. I'm actually going to go ahead and drop another boost and boost my troops for another hour. Now, if we go up towards the top of the base, guys, and we click the builder icon, this is why we're playing like crazy on this account. We have just used the most powerful or one of the most powerful magic items in the game. Can you guess what it is, guys? It is a builder potion. Now, we've activated a builder potion that means we're going to be getting another three builders back in the next hour or so. That's going to be one from a Tesla. And two from two new max level gold collectors. So right now we've got a single builder free. That means we're going to have four builders free to do some crazy upgrades in the base. Now, I don't know what we're going to start upgrading, guys. But we're going to start doing something different. So, I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to start upgrading all the lower level defenses, the ones which only take a couple of days. So we can really start to upgrade this base ASAP. I think I'm also going to go for a Warden upgrade because he is level 24. And I do want to get a new level ability, guys, which is level 25. And we've also got a Book of Heroes, which is really going to help. So here's what we're going to do. 
we're gonna get ourselves straight into the next live attack guys i need to raise another two million elixir and then we'll be able to upgrade the warden to level 25 drop a book of heroes and unlock a new level ability for the Grand Warden here on this account. So let's go ahead and drop some gems. Let's grab ourselves our heroes. Hopefully we've got enough. Oh damn, that was close. Wow. Okay. We're not going to bring the Grand Warden, guys. That is definitely not going to happen. Sorry, the Royal Champion. How much is that? 1.35 million. These upgrades are so cheap. That's what I'm saying. We can literally upgrade so many defenses, guys, in this base for 12 million gold. It is ridiculous. I'm going to try and max out the gold storages in the next half hour or maybe the next hour. And then we're going to have 18 million gold to spend in a single raid. Uh, sorry, in a single second. Wow. Another 900,000 Dark Elixir and 10,000 Dark Elixir. 900,000 Elixir, 10,000 Dark Elixir, guys. Let's get this going. Queen's going to come in down the bottom. Remember, we do not have the Royal Champion. Let's pick off those Dark Elixir Drills using some real basic troops. And let's also grab the rest of those Collectors. Now, the rest of the Dark Elixir is there in the Clan Castle and in the Town Hall. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop these Quake Spells straight into the center. I'm going to rage up my Queen. And we're going to drop some wall breakers in, guys. Hopefully, we're going to break through two layers of walls, which we have. Now, we're going to get the rest of the heroes to enter into the core. With, of course, the help of the queen and those healers, we should be able to do some real decent damage to this base and maybe make it in towards where that dark elixir is. Let's see if this is going to work. I'm going to pop the Grand Warden's ability nice and early. Saving my troops from, of course, the horrible Eagle Artillery. Let's drop a free spell down on the right-hand side on the Inferno Tower. As it looks like we are breaching a little bit closer, guys, to taking out that Dark Elixir Storage. Another free spell is going to go down. The Queen. Let's pop her ability, guys. She's going to need to take out this single target. It's going to go down. Tornado Trap almost killing me there. That was close. Wow. But we did take all 10,000 Dark Elixir, guys. There's only a little bit left. And I think it's inside of the Town Hall. So I don't think we're really going to be able to break in and get that. But the raid is going to end there. And we just collected another huge 9,225 Dark Elixir, guys. So let's take a look at how much loot we've actually made over the last couple of raids. Before we do anything... I'm going to quick trade up another army, guys. I also just noticed we've got some new gold pass prizes. Take your guess. Before I click the gold pass button, what are the prizes? Whoever gets the right answer, I will pin your comment down below. Let's see what they are, guys. Here we go. What challenge was that? Okay, we just got 100 points. But we've got another challenge here for 200. Another one for 200. Wow. And we can also do this to supercharge... But I don't actually have any super troops right now because I was saving the Dark Elixir to do a hero upgrade in the base. So let's see what we just got. Another 1.25 million Elixir. Wow, that's actually going to get me, I think, the amount of loot we needed to do the Warden upgrade almost. Wow. Tiny bit short, guys. We need just another 400,000 Elixir. We needed 2 million at the start. Now all we need is 400,000. There are some more prizes. If we collect the other 400 points, they're going to take us all the way to 1,080. So we're going to be getting all this, guys. Another 500,000 gold. All the builder boost, the bigger season bank, the research boost, and the training boost. And we've got another one of these. A builder potion in just 500 points. Let's get going, guys. What I want to do right now... All we need is a tiny bit of loot. Wow, why don't we go into one of these practice maps? And why don't we collect the loot we need? Let's go for... Let's go for this one here. Minor Mania, guys. If we do this real quick, we're going to get 400,000 elixir. And I think that's the exact amount we need to take out the Warden to the next level. So, Archer Queen's heading down the bottom, guys. She's going to be doing her thing. 
soon as we collect this elixir, we're going to go for that warden upgrade and grab ourselves a new level ability. The Archer Queen taking down the storage down the bottom. Let's get the wall breakers in, guys. One of them only. Okay. Somehow it made it through the wizard tower. Here we go. The other three are going to come in, guys. Oh, damn. They just about survived. And the Archer Queen is probably going to head into the base now. So we've got two wizards coming in. We're going to take out the rest of these buildings on the edge, guys, to create that funnel. Archer Queen's going to head into the core. And I'm guessing now we are going to start to deploy the rest of the troops very shortly as the Queen heads into the base to take out that first multi-target Inferno Tower. And, of course, the defending Queen. Absolutely beasting it, guys. There goes the Queen. And we still haven't sent in the rest of the troops. This is taking a lot longer than I expected. Wow. Okay, nothing we can do about it, guys. We've already started the raid, so we may as well continue. Queen still going and already up to 30%. Is there no time limit on this? For some reason, it doesn't look like there's an actual time limit on this raid, which is kind of weird, guys. But so far, we've taken 80,000 elixir, 320,000 still on the map. As the town all goes down, now we can finally send in the miners, guys. All 23 at the exact same spot. How weird is that? So, here we go. Miners are going to go straight in for that gold storage. Now they're going to start dispersing. As we manage to take out the rest of the buildings down the bottom to create more of a funnel with the wizards. And the final two wizards coming in on those collectors on the east wing. And I think we've deployed everything apart from the king and the spells, guys. Quad heal spell. Of course, to keep those miners alive. Let's get the heals ready. And let's finish off this raid, guys. 160,000 elixir to go. I'm going to pop the king's ability. I'm going to go in with heal spell number one. And we are going to pop the queen's ability, guys. To take out those final few buildings. As we head into the final segment of this base, guys. 80,000 elixir remaining. Let's go for a heal spell number two. And we are looking absolutely fantastic. Final few seconds. Double heal is going to go down, keeping all my troops up and alive, including the king. As we take out the defending king, it is game over. Let's head back home. Just after we take out this elixir collector and the storage on the right hand side. And we'll end the raid there. Wow, I probably should have done a normal live attack, guys. But I honestly thought this was going to be a lot quicker than it actually was. There he goes. Let's return home. And let's do the upgrade, guys. We're still actually going to have all the builders free. So we're going to go for this upgrade right here. For 9.72 million, we're going to grab ourselves a level 25 Grand Warden. And we've got ourselves a new level ability, guys. And we've still got our builder free. That's the most important thing, because in the next, like, 20 minutes, we're going to get more builders free, and we're going to do more upgrades.